what's up guys it's osiris welcome to a brand new video in this sampling series today we're going to be taking a look at slicer and slice x and we're going to be making a bit with slicer and slice x let's get right into this so slicer and slice x are sampling tools you can use to slice up bits or slice up samples in fl studio so you can just drop a sample into um slicer or slice x and they will slice the sample up into different zones so if i drop this here i have this um vocaloid sample here let me just play this so yeah so i've dropped this into slice x and i can just right click here and do some auto slicing and just slices this up into different patterns for me so i can do um let's do this so these sliced points are called zones or markers so i can play this on my keyboard and slice x also slicer also does the same thing so um the main difference between slicer and slice x is that slicer is simpler to use and slicer gets it's faster so when i use slicer i want to do something quick i don't want to edit the sample too much so i just want to get the job done quick and easy so i just i'll just throw the sample into slicer but if you want to get more detailed with the zones and the regions you might want to use slice x so slicer is simple to use and it's very fast and it gets the job done quickly slice x can also get the job done fast but it's, more, it's a much more detailed sampler than slicer so that's slicer and slice x and let's see some things we can do with this um so let me drop in a drum here a drum sample and let's um let's time this sample we have here so i'm just going to fit this to tempo and the bpm of this is 80 so i'm just going to type in the bpm of this then that's just going to fit into tempo so let's play this so yeah so i'm just going to consolidate this so we have a new audio file we can put in slicer and slice x so let's do this so we have this track here i'll delete this then let's just drop this into i'll mute this and let's open up slicer fruity slicer then i'll just drop this into slicer. so this has done some auto slicing for us and let's just change this up a little bit so let's click on this knife icon here and i'm just going to put no slicing so then what i want to do now is put this to let's put this on the beats then then let's pitch this down let's see let's pitch this down 200 so yeah i like that we're going to mess around with this low and high to change where the sample is sliced up so if you reduce this you can change where the sample to get more slices or less slices so let's just do this let's play around with this uh, I think this is good hmm, i like this so uh, we're going to try to match this up with the drums and let's see what we can get with this so i'm going to play some patterns i'm just going to delete the default pattern here let's delete this also in slice x so let's open up slicer then i'm going to play Try to figure out a melody with this while the drum is playing so let's delete this for now and let's play this
think I've found a good um, melody here and let's record this. I'm just going to turn this on and let's create a new pattern. Let's put this right here and let's record this. So here we have a nice pattern here. I'm just going to come here. Let's control A, this and Alt Q to quantize this. Let's place. So I'm just going to edit some of these patterns to fill up. So I like what we have here. Let's duplicate this and let's try to get some things off of Slicer. So let's, I'm just going to do clear up all these um, slicings, all these slices here. Let's bring, let's bring this back. Then uh, let's do large grid slicing. I'm just going to get, I'll delete some markers here and manually slice this out so we can get some manual slicing here. So remember we have to reduce the pitch of this so let's try to reduce the master pitch by 200 minus 200 also uh, type in value okay this is not so let's just reduce this to minus 200 then let's see what we can play around with. here so we can have the full thing. Let's delete this. It's disturbing. So let's play the song again. Let's record that. I think we have a nice pattern going on there. So let's stop this. And let's delete this. Yeah, so this is good. So let's just do something. I'll bring this here. Let's bring this here. Let's play this. Let's see how this sounds. I don't know how this will sound. Let's cut this up. Then this will start playing here. Oops. 
you know what let's decrease this to let's shrink this down to yeah, that's pretty decent So yeah, that's the basics of slicing up samples with um, Footy Slicer and SliceX. Of course, there are many more things you can do. You can use this attack fading and decay fade out knob to reduce the clicks of the sample. You can do different types of slicing here and you can mess around with like the play to end. So if you click this, it plays to the end before you can play the next notes. And if you want to get things, what you should take out of this is if you want to get things done quickly, you can use slicer and just get your samples done quickly without worrying much about each slice or each zone. Then you can use this to fit or to stretch the sample to change the tempo up and things like that. Let's see how this sounds with that. So you see how we get really interesting with this. So that's very interesting. So yeah, maybe one of these days I'll do a full beat with one of these Vocaloid um, samples because I've really enjoyed sampling with um, Vocaloid songs um, recently and yeah maybe I'll show you one or two things I will make a few I'll make a full beats with one of the samples so this is the basics of how to use slicer and slice X so let's edit this um, region let's blur Let's accept that and let's see how this sounds now. So we can edit um, the audio file and the samples with tools in Edison. So um, SliceX just gets really deep on these things. So this is the basics of sampling with Slicer and SliceX. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.